Welcome. In this video, I will show you what parallel arrays are and how to use them. The first thing you need for parallel arrays are two or more arrays. And these arrays need to be of the same size because the elements of these arrays are going to relate to one another. So here we have two arrays, the first one being this names array and the second one being this favorite color array. This names array is of size 5, and this favorite color array is also of size 5. And in this names array, we have the names of five different people. And in the favorite colors array, we have the favorite colors of these five different people. So, this purple correlates to Alex, yellow to Clinton, green to Adam, orange to Ariel, and black to Lexi. So these are two parallel arrays because they have data, they are the same size, and they have data that relates to one another. Now that we know what parallel arrays are, let us search for information in one array using the information from another array. So we are going to search for the favorite color of a person based off of a name in the names array. First, we need to get that name that we want to search for from the user of our program. So we will use simple see out and see in statements to prompt and then get input from the user. That input will be the name that the user wants to search for in this names array. Next, we will search for this name in this names array using a for loop. This for loop will start at zero, which is the beginning of this names array, and run up until it hits the size of the array. So it will loop from zero to four in this case. During this for loop, each iteration, it will check in the names array if the index it is currently at is equivalent to the name that was entered by the user over here. If it finds that name entered by the user, it will output the name of the user and that their favorite color is the favorite color that is contained in the favorite color array. And we can do that using this i, which is the same index we are using in this names array. And we know that we can do that because these are related, these are parallel arrays. So once we find that name, we can find the same information without having to search again in this second array or any other parallel array you may have, because you can have any amount of parallel arrays that you want. And then once we have found this, we want to set that we did find this in the program to true. And then actually for good measure, we should just break out right here. So we will add a break statement right here. The reason why we want to add this break statement right here is because once we find this name, then we know we found their favorite color, so we can break out of this for loop. This necessarily, or doesn't necessarily have to be here, because you could have, you know, maybe some grades that you're keeping track of, and he, they could have multiple grades, so their name could be in this names array twice. In that instance, you wouldn't want to break, you would want to continue searching through the array. And... Now that you are done searching for the name, we can check that if we found it, it will be set to true. This found flag will be set to true. And so this won't get printed since this was already printed up here. And why would we print that they weren't found when they were found? But if they were not found, this found flag was initially set to false up here. And since it was set to false, it would have never been set to true if it wasn't found in here. Then it will go into this if statement and output that that name that was entered by the user was not found and that they must not have a favorite color. And then the program simply terminates by returning zero. So 
let's actually run this program and see what happens. We can compile it with G++ and the name, why is that capital? G++ and the name of the program and wait for a second and we will get a dot out which we can run with dot slash a dot out. And you see we get prompted to enter a name from right here. When we enter a name, we will enter a valid name, Alex, and you see we get Alex's favorite color is purple because it loops through this, it loops from zero to four and it checks this name's array while it is looping. It finds Alex in the array at index zero and then it outputs that my favorite color is purple based off of finding that name in the names array. Similarly, if we entered something like Clinton, you would get yellow, which if we come up here, you see Clinton and yellow are both at index one. If we enter Adam, we get green when Adam and green are index two. When we enter in Ariel, we get orange because Ariel and orange are both at index three. And then finally, if we enter Lexi, we get black because Lexi is at index four. And if we enter in somebody who's not in the list, such as Tom, you see we get Tom wasn't found in the list. They must not have a favorite color because Tom is not in this list. So when we loop through here, this found flag never gets set to true because that name Tom does not get found in the names array. So it comes down here and it goes into this if statement because that found is false and that turning that false into a true with this not makes it go into this if statement. So it will output to the screen that they were not found and that they must not have a favorite color. And that is all that I have for you for this video. Thank you for so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.